Let me quickly show you how to stream on Kick so you can start getting viewers and making that money. I'm gonna keep it extremely short, somewhat even say as short as, well, maybe not that short. Step one, go to kick.com. We're gonna want to click the sign up button in the top right corner and make an account. This is my Kick account. In case you guys have any questions, you can ask in the chat. I usually stream every Monday. Once you've made a Kick account, click on the top right corner with your little picture and then go to creator dashboard. This is what you'll wanna have up on a separate screen. It's gonna show you your viewers, followers, subs, chat, everything. And if you wanna actually make money, you can go to the achievements tab and literally all you have to do is stream for five hours and then you're going to get a subscriptions button in your revenue tab on the left where you have to fill out your payment information. Then people can sub to you on kick so you can start making money. But what we need to do now is click on channel on the left hand side and then go to stream URL and key. And so just have this page up. We're going to use it later. Now we're going to download OBS studio. So I'm going to leave this linked in the description so you can download it. And this will work on your computer or laptop. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to download for windows and I'm going to run it. It's going to look darker than my childhood trauma, but this main screen right here is going to be the screen preview. The scenes are going to be the different sections. So we have like a just chatting scene starting soon. Gameplay sources are going to be everything we add to the scene. So in this case, a webcam, our gameplay and other decorations we want to put on the screen. And then we have our audio mixer, which is going to control our game audio, our music, everything and our microphone. The first thing we should do before we forget is go to the settings in the bottom right corner, then click on the stream tab. And then we're going to change the service to custom. Then we're going to go back to kick, copy the stream URL and the stream key, and then post them in OBS. The stream URL on kick is actually the server. So we're going to place that there. Then we're going to hit apply and then we're going to go to audio tab. Then we're going to change the desktop audio to whatever device or speakers you're listening to, because that's where our game audio and everything that's coming out of our computer or laptop is going to come out of. So I'm going to choose my Yamaha speakers and then your mic auxiliary audio. Just pick whichever microphone you plan on using. So I'm using the Rode Pod mic USB and I have all of my streaming gear linked in the description down below. So once you've added those two things, you're going to hit apply and OK. And then now you should see your mic audio down here. So when you talk in your mic, the bar will go up. And then when we add our game, you'll see our game volume here, as well as any other sounds that come out of your computer. So be careful, boys. Now we're going to go to tools at the very top and we're going to do auto configuration wizard. Then we'll do optimize for streaming. Hit next base canvas. I'm going to set my current one here, which is 1920. Then I'm going to use either 60 or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. Hit next. We already added our stream information, which is fine. So hit next again. Then we're going to hit yes. While we're waiting, can think of all of the regrets you've had in your life, like not liking this video because it's going to help so many more other people. And just like that, it's given us our recommended settings, which will be fine just for now. However, I'll show you the absolute best settings at the very end of the video. So stick around. So we're going to hit apply settings. And now all of that dirty work behind the scenes is done. Now for the fun part, we're going to make our scene. So the first thing we're going to do is a starting soon screen. And then we're going to add a source. So I'm going to add either an image capture. If it's a static image, like a PNG or JPEG, or you could do media source if it's an animated overlay. Now I have a streamer starter pack, which is in the description down below. So I'll use that. So I'm going to use image, give it a name and then hit OK. I'm going to find that image with the browse button, click on it and then hit open. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now you can make your own on Canva or however you want to do it, but I've made everything for you with that starter pack. So check it out. And that's pretty much it for starting soon. Now we're gonna hit the plus button in the very bottom left under scenes. We're going to call this just chatting and then we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to hit the plus button under sources and do video capture device. We're going to call this one webcam. Hit OK. You're going to pick your webcam from the drop down list. I'm going to use my very crappy integrated camera just because it's what I have offhand. Then I'm going to hit OK. If your camera is 720p like this horrendous laptop one is, you can right click the image and then do transform and then do fit to screen. That's going to make it full screen. So this is where you can really tell if you have quality gear or really bad gear because you can see literally how much distortion is going on. So I would recommend checking out my streaming gear list in the description down below. It's that Amazon list it has a bunch of budget options. And this is essentially all you have to do for a very basic just chatting scene, just you and the webcam. So let's make our gameplay scene plus button bottom left corner. And we're going to call it gameplay and we're going to hit OK. Now I'm going to open up a game in Steam. I booted up my game peak in the background, which you can tell is getting picked up by my desktop audio now because the bar is going up and down. So that's perfect. So now we can go to the sources, hit the plus button, and then I'm going to do a game capture. And then we're going to hit OK. If capture any full screen application works, then use that. But since it's behind OBS for me, I'm going to capture a specific window and then pick out my game, which happens to be peak in the window, hit OK. And now we have our gameplay. If that doesn't work for you, you can just use a display capture. It'll just capture your entire screen instead. But now we want to add our webcam. So if you want to, you can hit the plus button and then video capture device, add existing, click on webcam, hit OK. Then we have our webcam here. You can use the corners to resize it and then hold down the alt key to trim it, crop it left and right to make it more symmetrical and then drag it to wherever you want on the screen. So now we have a very basic stream setup. We got our gameplay, we got our webcam, we got our game audio and we have our mic audio. And then you can see we have our just chatting screen. We have our starting soon screen. So we have everything you need for very basic stream. So when we want to start streaming, we'll click this start streaming button on the right side of the screen. Then you can go to your kick page, which is the creator dashboard we looked at. This
this stream preview will show your actual stream being played. So make sure to either pause it or click the mute button, or you're gonna have this annoying echo effect that's gonna affect your entire stream. So make sure to pause that or mute it. You'll be able to see your viewers, that you're offline, your followers, subs, everything, your chat. This is your home base. When you wanna end your stream, that start streaming button will no longer say start streaming when you're live, it'll say end stream. So you'll simply click that same button and it'll end your stream. And then after a few minutes, your past broadcast will be on your kick page for you to look at and make any changes like if you need to turn your microphone up. But this is just the tip of the iceberg for kick streaming. And I'm gonna leave my kick playlist to the side of me. It has every single thing you need to know about streaming on kick, what the best settings are for your stream, how to decorate it with cool overlays, how to set up a chat box over your screen, and how to make the most money from streaming. So start watching this kick playlist to the side of me. My name's Cody, and I will see you in the next one.